Natasha, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. The focus today um, is going to be how best to uh, write CVs. Uh, we understand that you have a lot of experience, so let me hand over to you. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Natasha and I'm here to give you some what we call top tips in writing your CV and cover letter. Nowadays, you don't only need a CV in Spanish, you need it in English as well. And you need it to be well written, you need it to be something that impacts, something that when you send it through, they're going to stop and they're going to take it out of a pile and they're going to read it. So in a CV, three things that we need. Step one, the structure of the CV. Our step two is the content. And step uh, three is the presentation. We'll start with the structure of the CV. At the top, we always put on our personal information your name, your date of birth, your address, and your email address. And then we have um, education and qualifications. When you're a student or when you're recently graduated, it's quite difficult to have enough information in the work experience section. So I would start with my education, um, list a few courses that you've done that are relevant to the, to the company that you're applying to. So whatever you're doing at present always comes first. And then you work your way back. It's not about the quantity, it's more about the quality of your work experience. If you've done maybe one or two summer internships, not so much that it overwhelms the person who's reading it. After that, you would mention your skills, your technical skills, your IT skills, what experience you have. I mean, if you know any programs, if you can handle different types of programs like um, Adobe and, and what languages you, you've mastered up until now. So we've decided how we're going to lay out our CV. So now we have to decide what we're going to put inside and what we're going to write on. The best idea. You have to tailor your CV to the sector that you're sending it to. Well, you'll have to tailor your CV to show your interest and your motivation into going into that company. So I recommend is when you write your CV, make sure you know where it's going. Exactly. So it's not a document that will land you the job. The objective of your CV is to land an interview. Back up your qualities and strengths. That's, in other words, back them up. But instead of just using the keywords, try to give an example if you can. Keywords. We all have those typical words that uh, will always stand out. Apparently, what I've, I've come across in my research is that most companies, even the smaller ones, specific keywords. And if your, res if your CV doesn't have these certain keyword descriptions, check things that uh, companies are looking for. And then we have uh, bullet points. When you use bullet points, it makes things short, concise, and easy to read. Then always put the important information first. Like I said, once we start reading, we start to skim. So if you put the most important thing at the bottom, then there's a chance that the, the recruiter is not even going to see it. Use number in your job descriptions or in your work history. Make sure that there, there are facts, for example, good, that, you, that you have facts, that you've done things and you can show that you've done things. What I recommend is I wouldn't include a photograph unless the job, des the job description asked for it. The I and me shouldn't appear anywhere in your CV. That's, um, even though that's how we normally structure sentences in the English language, I manage to, in me, all disappear. And make sure all the information is relevant. Quality of your, your work experience is more important than the quantity. For example, what a lot of people do is you list the last three jobs you had in detail, and the ones before that, it's just a one line. All CVs are sent via email. So it's always on a white background, simple writing, black writing. You can use bold, you can use italic, you can use underlined. Okay, so back to presentations. No fancy designs. A CV should not be longer than two pages. And make the CV clear and concise. Use headings, use the bullet points. Play a bit with the bold and the italics. So keep it clear, keep it simple in a doc format or a PDF format. We're just going to review some quick top tips for our CVs. Research. Research your com the company that you're applying to. I think that's fundamental. Know who you're applying to. Keywords are fundamental. Proofread. Make sure that there are no spelling mistakes. 
Okay, so now let's move on to our cover letters. Why are cover letters important? Taking the time to find out who works in human resources is always going to be in your benefit. Keep it simple. Keep your cover letter brief. Never send a letter that is more than a page long. Half a page is perfect. Copying and pasting from your CV is the worst idea. Don't want to do much detail, but at least make it interesting enough for you to be called into an interview. The letter should be concise and short. Make sure it's readable, a sensible font, and don't do anything too fancy. Grab the, the person's attention from the beginning. Uh, showing a personal connection or how you can make a difference for their company. Show that you're interested. Don't claim to be the best in the world. Make sure that you're you're quite reasonable in what you're saying, but but sell yourself. Follow up. Calling up and making sure that they received your CV, that everything's okay, is showing the employer that you're interested. Job hunting is tiring and it takes time and it takes effort. But the better we can be, the more effort that we put in, I think the more rewards we're gonna reap.